Hello and welcome to another Near Running Cast. As always, my name is Jonathan and I'm joined once again by Joey. How are you doing, Joey? Uh, so we have this from the second round of the Edinburgh Inter City Friendly, which took place in Edinburgh. That's me surprise you. Uh, in January, um, it was a team tournament, four, uh, four players in each team representing uh, local metas. And in this game, we've got on the left-hand side Matt Addison of Edinburgh uh, playing ETF. And on the right-hand side, we've got Rob Thompson uh, representing Bristol um, playing Andy. He counts out as nine cards. So, um, now this is, uh, we mentioned the end of the previous video, this is on the North versus South. But it's also a bit of a uh, flashback to the distant past of Netrunner back in the day before we had all these, well, I don't know, it's all still fast advance and, uh, and Andy. They, it's, well, there's no criminals now, though. It's all Anarch, so I don't know. There's criminals, but you see, you see more Leela than you do. It's Leela, yeah. No, Leela's around, yeah. It's really interesting. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. Um, so let's see, this is in January, so it's uh, post Data and Destiny, it's pre Most Wanted, uh, so it's obviously pre Caligoda. Um, so, what do you reckon, food codes? Food codes. CTF, right? Of course it is, it always is. <laughs> so, we're going to see a glacier uh, setup, we're going to see uh, lots of upgrades, including breakaway grid to power Adonis and Eve, we're going to see Caprice and Ash, um, and of course, we're going to see Global Food Initiative. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it could be it could be other things, but the fact he's put an upgrade in HQ already, he's like, it's probably Chrissy and Grid, which means it's possibly... It might be one of Chrissy and, yeah. possibly got Hoyle and Food Coats, and that's just... Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's and we already see from from Rob that he's got a sucker down, so it's so Sucker Andy. Sucker Andy, yeah. so this is... Uh, <laughs> okay, so we already have a good idea of what both these decks are doing, unless there is some surprise element we get to see. Who knows? I'm sure there's a few, co you know, there's always a card here or there that... Uh, tweaks the deck, but yeah. they should at least have an idea of what they're playing against. I think they'll both have a fairly yeah. good idea, even though these two players may never have met before. Um, so it's, we should just mention, actually, um, I tend to hang around in the south. Don't know about you. So I know the likes of Rob. Um, I don't really, I don't didn't really know before this day any of the guys from Edinburgh. But Matt um, is pretty good. He uh, won the Hadrian's Wall, which is where Matt is from uh, that he's playing. Um, and he's a pretty, uh, he's a good player up in Edinburgh. He, w he wins northern regionals, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, that is interesting because a player yeah. that is so, clearly very, very good. Um, I think we spoke to him quite a bit on the day as well. Um, yeah, you normally know. You never heard of him. There's this huge <laughs> divide where we're like north, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the north. We, yeah. Don't, we just don't, we don't get that. So um, I mean, I see a bit of, on like a coup and stuff of who's winning stuff. But yeah, you don't really put names to faces. You don't remember, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see um, how he plays. Um, and Rob is obviously a good player. We know he's a good yeah. player. You know, he wins all champs and regionals as well. Um, okay, so we've got uh, a, a heavy ice, eight, uh, ice to HQ, which makes sense against Criminal with yeah. what we both presume is a Christian grid. Seems yeah. pretty reasonable. Um, I doubt he has more than one in the deck, but if he's drawn it, might as well put uh, it down. Sometimes two, before we respond to list two. Um, he's also put. Ice on archives already. Oh, no, he hasn't. No, Far that's that's. Uh, he's Sarkar got R&D and he's got a remote. Sure. Because um, okay. that's not a bad idea with sucker down. Um, that's true. Yeah, you might consider it. Uh, yes. <laughs> I love Alex. I quite oh, like uh, so Alex. So good. So Alex Tabbert is uh, oh. and possibly underrated HP it's asset. Phenomenal. That makes like, money when you install stuff. And he's he's, he's probably just put a Caprice and an Ash down on there or break a bait, whatever. Yeah. That's if good. you can't get in there and trash that. It's your economy. It's going to get loads of money later. One yeah. card, your economy. So yeah. you need nothing else. You just keep and playing ETF, now yeah. until it gets to maybe nine or ten. <laughs> well, credits. you keep going. You keep going until you get an agenda, right? So he installs in the same server, gets another counter. You just install until you get an agenda, and then you. Oh, no, he's use, clicking it straight away. See. Maybe he's going to install the agenda then. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. But I was like, you wait. You just protect it, protect it, build a massive server around it. Yeah. Just you think they're ready to like stim back in. Like I have to get that thing. Yeah. You get 20, 28 credits. Yeah. It's on agenda. Done. Yeah. So we've got three cards installed on that server, so um, you said you guessed Caprice Nash seems pretty reasonable, could be a, or Breaker Bay, Adonis, Eve, uh, something like that. I'm going to have to go back into my... <laughs> Alex back. I took Alex out of my most recent HP deck because Breaker Bay grid and campaigns just make sense. You don't really need yeah. anything else after a hedge fund there. Yeah. Um, but Alex is so good, you can, you can go like... Yeah, but Breaker Bay Grid is also good. It's, a, it's just a pity that they have those two great economy packages. But yeah. um, right, if Breaker is... Bay gets nerfed for any reason or gets most wanted listed or something like that, then maybe back to Alex because I do like Alex. So this is a pretty cl pretty classic uh, criminal setup on the right side. You've got all the red breakers and a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> the fairy, yeah. Uh, B is now set up. So um, oh, it still hasn't got Mimic. Yeah. But 
I assume. I assume as well. Mimic's going to be the third, Mimic, third leg Mimic, of his Mimic Fairy works really well. Rig. Um, with suckers, like, Fairy to break the big stuff. Yeah, he's not in the He's but also, we've seen a Fem already. I think, I think he discarded the Fem or something, maybe. Yeah, um, it's possible. If you so, know. there's a chance he just does Fairy, Fem, Sucker. That's what so, we're going to check the remote. It's going to hit an Architect, so he can break it with Fairy. Um, break a big red crease. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna so he does break it with Fairy. Yeah, he's going to get a side game, okay. Um, this is you'd like to win the side game just to just, Otherwise he clears the remote just kill that remote, yeah. So let's see what we've got. No. So he doesn't get in, so, but he's using Fairy, so we can't really go back. He does take a tag from John Taganori. Yeah, I hate that guy. <laughs> he was tagged to be the worst times. Yeah. The priest, John Taganori. Yeah. Um, uh, do you go back and let the architect fight? You no, really don't. No, yeah. Not even a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you need to find you need to find your mimic now. Um, okay. And clear the attack. Yeah, sure. You lose KT. Same thing. One, two, like baby as well, I think. So um, he can break his way through an Eli, and uh, he did access, but it was, but it was of, uh, not many use. Uh, it's. He does have the clone ship, so he can uh, clone ship fairy to get through, but you don't want to be living on fairy recursion. No. So you just, you just aggressively draw for the mimic. So Especially when, you, when if he loses a breaker for whatever reason, as an assassin and some things, um, you won't have much recursion. Uh, criminal, that might be his only clone ship or a couple. He, he might yeah, be and he might be intended to use it for like Crescentus or some other some other thing. Hit another architect. He's gonna have a think about no, it. No, he might have to use the ferry. Um, yeah, there's, an, there's an Alex in the bin. Uh, yeah. You don't know what's in hand, of course. Although we do also know this remote doesn't have an agenda in it. So if he's got an agenda in hand and this yeah, fires, he's gonna stick it in that remote, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he hasn't got one in hand, he sticks the Alex in the remote. But yeah. He gets a load of money back. It's a tough one. Yeah, um, you definitely put an agenda in the remote. So, uh, if, you've got, if you've got like even better, if you've got like a Jackson hand or something, you've got an ABT Jackson, you put both of them down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, he did let it fire and uh, Matt installed a piece of ice out of RD. Um, so, no agendas, I guess, in the top five, because I feel like you just stick it in there. Or he's got one in hand that he's trying to Or he wants to use that, yeah. That's true, because it's an HQ run. So, let's see. Um, although he's not putting it straight in, so he might make me think about Alex. Maybe there is one. It just isn't an agenda. He's only on, I mean, that, those 15 credits will disappear quite quickly when you've got Caprice and Ash, you know, he, he's basically gender. So he's still something out of hand in our remote, yeah. Um, so Rap, uh, not really an obstacle for Proda, so he's going to get an access. Uh, there's a, he's thinking about whether to raise the Crisium at this point. I guess the only risk here is emergency shutdown. He might play on an architect, it's not a lot though, isn't it? Four credits? Yeah, a sucker token. It's nice sucker as well, yeah, still not worth it, I don't think. So it is a Crisium, which trashes. He's going to pull Arco Memories, okay. <laughs> Arco Memories, Christian, is yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, HB cards, right? Okay, so um, uh, that was click two. Do we have two clicks remaining? We can challenge the remote, at least force the. It's like, oh no, he can't got to get through the break practice. it though. You don't knock like the Arco. Uh, so he does shut down the remote. Uh, but that was click four because he drew. So. Um, I mean, it's three credits. <laughs> Yeah, so to a, save him four, it wasn't. I mean, you re you res it if it's a siphon or a legwork or something, huh, of course. Yeah, but the Adonis. Is he? Maybe he doesn't have an agenda then. Hmm. No, but would would you have installed the Alex instead? Alex out of the bin, you still have an Adonis, in that, and then you saw the Adonis in the remote, but an Alex counter on. Maybe. Um, maybe he just doesn't love Alex quite as much. Maybe he's, maybe he's got all in problem. on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe he's just like Alex is a good early game. You just crack it down. You get a few goes. I suppose that he got six that credits was, out. Wasn't of it. a break of bait, so. Yeah. It, Oh, there is a breaker there, that's true, so it is good. But you can install the Alex, uh, and then install the, break, uh, the Adonis from hand. And, yeah. The thing is, he's not he's not struggling for money that much. I mean, you feel like the Adonis will go away as soon as he draws an agenda. Um, Siphon's an interesting call, so he's going to hit the Architect. Presumably he's going to punch it. Oh, sorry, he's installed another Fairy. Uh, so he's presumably he's going to use Fairy, although he's going to run out. Because I don't hang around for long. No, and there's another Architect in the um, room. Got, uh, and there's another card on the remote. I guess you could res. It depends what this outside ice is. It might be that resing that and the other upgrade will bring him below five. I'm not sure. The upgrade's got break bay in it, so 
Oh, that's true. So, so you can't it's, even, it's gonna be an ash. You can't even choose to res it. So there's no point. Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't res anything, in fact. Uh, so we're going to ferry uh, through the Architect, Corey through the Wrapper, yeah. and he's going to go stuff with money. Yeah. More importantly, this just made 10 credits for Mendak, so... That's true, but um, he still can't break Architects. <laughs> yeah. So he's going to struggle on... Uh, I mean, he could run... And it would leave money for a side game if he does, yeah. So, so interesting, so he's going to run on a He, he can clone ship the fairy if he reses. I think he has to. I think you do res, just to make him use a clone ship, or get some free installs. Otherwise you get a credit, and he puts the Christian bread back on yeah, his Yeah, Christian bread for nothing else, you know. And he gets credit for doing it. You've got to uh, res it here because you're not going to keep him out with the 18 credits, even with Ash. But the Ash will still tax him four credits. Yeah. He's also floating tags at this point um, because he siphoned and didn't clear them. Um, so he's going to use the Sucker and the Fairy to break. We're going to get a Caprice game. That's kind of what happens. You spend going to the dice. two here as. One to zero. zero. That's the same as the previous game, in fact. So. Um, Bounced again, get another tag. So now he's definitely that, and, and he manages to stick because if that remote gets cleared out, that's a problem. But he yeah, he's got five stabilizes credits. now. Yeah, because he gained three from the Adonis, but he wouldn't have done had he. Yeah. So spending money there was an investment for protecting your Adonis money for later on. Yeah. So he's playing a little low, but the architects are doing work. Um, well, the Rob now has money, so as soon as he gets Mimic, he's kind of sorted. So archive for Chrysium. Sort of Shuff, card shuffle his hand you. a little bit and then oh, this one oh, looks good yeah. <laughs> Joey could be anything <laughs> better Caprice I mean, yeah. batty he's going to batty oh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so it's got to be a Christian he's, like, he's got to be careful now because well he's only on four credits but as soon as he hits seven there's possibly assassins in this deck uh, it's worth mentioning it's an interesting position he was in he only has six credits he did also trash the same old thing it's not a bad idea to stop Repeated Six siphoning. Becoming one. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think if there's an assassin there, he. It's a parasite on Eli. You, he'd want a parasite as architects, but they just don't go away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm surprised he doesn't say he cannot be trashed while being accessed, while being encountered. That's what architects mean. While being to encountered. Say. Right. Because sure, okay. Because it's to stop weird stop timing things where you in, when you install things with architect over architect. Yeah, maybe. And you're like, is, where's yeah. the ice gone? I was halfway through subroutines, and it yeah. it gets really messy. I mean, Crick has that though, so whatever. <laughs> Crick can trash yeah. it, but he also has one subroutine. So you could encounter the first subroutine, and then oh, architect I see what you're saying. Uh, like, yeah, okay. I, I feel like that's the main reason maybe it's right, got yeah. that thing on it. So why doesn't it just say cannot be trashed or being encountered? Or cannot use a subroutine to trash itself. I tell you what, you should write a letter to Daniel and tell him to uh, change that card. They had an influence. I mean, you know, they're willing to make these changes. Of course. <laughs> okay, so we've pulled uh, Vitruvius um, out of R&D, I believe. I wasn't paying attention, but you were. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, they're tied on points. Sorry, we missed that. What's the, what's the it was out of R&D. Uh, sorry, it's an itchy. Yes, okay, well, let's, let's summarise. He installed Desperado, he ran R&D, uh, he clicked through the itchy, uh, beat the trace, and then he stole the uh, Vitruvius from the deck. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like Rob is one card away from having the upper hand, and that card is Mimic. Until he has it, he kind of has. Because the central is everywhere now. Uh, he can sucker through the itchy. He can even yeah. parasite the itchy now, in fact. I, like, if I was seriously worried about. I suppose he's got, more, he's got enough money to, to, to pay the trace on assassins. But sure. you get an assassin trash now. He's got no clone chips left. He used them on fairies. If he loses, like, his Corroda or whatever. Even Maybe. his Sucker at the minute is a, would be a problem, yeah? Because how yeah. do you get through Turing on a remote if you, use your, you lose your Yogg and... You know, yeah. So. Uh, so we've got an install on Archives. Uh, that'll stop the sec testing uh, and data sucker shenanigans. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's still going to check it, though. As well. He may purge. Another Architect. There's all three, okay. Wow. So that's going to fire. Yeah, so Rob now really struggling because he can't break the Architects. So that's one. But he does so get the money R &D and cards. Doesn't have so Masanori and sex testing and date sucker aren't bad, but the exchange of letting an architect from it's a bit, it's a bit tough. So he there was dirty laundry one, was it? No, uh, that wasn't. He did dirty laundry last time, but um, that was just normal. Wait, no, I think it was dirty laundry. Oh, I think it was dirty laundry is a good card as well to combine with all these other things. Yeah. When, you, when your only break you haven't got is is uh, 
a century breaker, you pretty much know you're going to get in. So it doesn't matter if it's dirty laundry or not, because if it is century, bad stuff will happen, but you'll still get in. Yeah. Um, Rare exception that it's a guard. Ox, yeah, yeah. A guard is um, underplayed. No, it's underplayed right, because yeah. it's four and it's two, and maybe it breaks it for one. But <laughs> um, I think if it costs five and it's four strength or something. Yeah. So um, Architects installed uh, an Arsenal remote, third Arsenal remote, and uh, an Adonis, which immediately got trashed. Seems reasonable when you got money. Yeah, you get. You might as well just blow it up. Yeah. yeah, and he's got Desperado as well, so you can trash it for two. Yeah, that's true. Um, another sucker. Okay, so uh, he's going to go a bit all in on these. Um, do you purge? I guess you don't really. I think he's. I think he's, he's sort of. He could purge now. It wouldn't be terrible. Because he's he's getting money. I mean, he's not like he's doing nothing if he purges. Um, I'm not sure. It, I guess it depends if he's got agendas because he might. He might. This remote's pretty safe. Let's be honest. It's pretty secure. Um, so you might. Yeah, his main need here is money. But if you purge, Mendex can't. His getting in becomes a lot harder. Um, he's also got two suckers now, which is interesting. He does. Why he still the second one? Because he's also not. If he got it. Ops. Yeah. If you're um, gonna, if maybe he's gonna run off a bunch. I don't know. Um, okay, so he just um, just took three credits. Okay, so Rob is now just drawing. He's obviously looking for, looking for Mimic. If you can get another piece of ice, yeah. Thing is, if he does find, if you purge and he does find Mimic, then he's still set up. Yeah, you can. He can sec test to get suckers in archives. And, okay, and he starts. So he throw away some things. He installs the same old things. So we do not get Mimic. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if uh, Matt trashed the same old thing again. He did earlier. I'm not sure if the numbers have changed a bit. Yeah. HQ's a bit safer now if he's worried he's got, about he's got, Siphon. Yeah, he's got a uh, pushing grid in there, so he has to come in twice before it's worth it. He's going to score. Yeah, it looks like he's going to install. Um, assuming that is an Ash. He, he can get bullied out of an Ash Trace. Um, but Caprice is going to do work. He is going to advance it once and twice. Uh, and leave it there. So it's a food. Or Vitruvius, maybe. Vitruvius, you think he's desperate for stuff? Yeah. And or he's an job. ABT and he's baiting him into a... So inside job is interesting. So uh, yeah, Rob still really wants to press the remote. Turing's not a problem. Letting Architect fire isn't the end of the world. Um, he can break everything that isn't an Architect. It's pretty bad. You put another Ash in there. And Guard, right? That's what you want here. <laughs> <laughs> that actually is perfect. That inside job of the remote. Yeah. It gets criminals. What do you want? You're just guard. Yeah. Yeah. God, and in this situation where you have to be playing criminals, which no one does, and they play inside job on your remote, and they don't happen to not have their central breaker. Yeah. Guard, so sure. normal stuff has to happen, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we happen to be in a situation where guard is useful. Uh, no, I, yeah, I don't know. You let Architect fire, and he'll just put more defensive upgrades in here. I think you res something to make Architect fire, yeah. at least. Because depends you, what he's you, got. If you can get another Ash in there, which you're resing for free. He's got an Itchy, okay. So he's going to fly over the Itchy. Yep. Um, and he might jack out. So it's a pity you couldn't raise that first one because if he hits may, that may, itchy, itchy, itchy. That could be. Uh, he's clicked one, so he could have clicked. And he may still click. No yeah, way, he won't click. But then you want to uh, Caprice side game for the, for the game and letting Architect fly. So I think you take that as the, as the corporation here. You take. Yeah, I'm not sure. the whole turn to play a side game. I'm not sure what the outside ice was. It may be something that he can trivially break. Oh, actually, the, but that would, it would use up the inside job. Yeah. So. No, I think yeah. it's more likely to be a massive piece of ice. So like he, a, he does let the architect fire. Man, it's, it's like five or six times architects are fired in this game. I reckon that piece really of ice is, hurts is, is an assassin or an ash. It's something ridiculously expensive that would leave him Maybe. with not enough money to play a side game. What if it's like a quandary or something? I guess you read it. Quandary you read Yeah, okay. for sure. Because then he hits the itchy. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you can install another piece of ice in it on the outside. Gets credit. Quandary maybe. <laughs> Uh, something that will, this but possibly but something that will force the itchy to be an issue if he has another inside job maybe. Uh, there's not even any point trashing because he's install for free because I'll take this good card just going to have to think about the other and so maybe just installs another Adonis to make him trash it he's an Adonis indeed so he's going to install that over there I mean Rob trashed it before he may trash again uh, but we're going to get a side game for that so um yeah. Two. Oh, we didn't roll dice this time. Mm. So you played one because you played one, one four. Two. Yeah. Okay. You could have even gone zero would have been really sneaky because four point zero is right, but I think two is definitely yeah. right. Cool. <laughs> um, what? Sure. All right. Two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, into the run. He does technically get another tag, but he forgot. But whatever. 
he's not going to clear them. He's got enough. Yeah. Psychographics. Um, I'm going to assume no, but that would be hilarious. Retrubious into. Uh, yeah, sounds like some top quality junk there. Uh, yeah, right, this doesn't so look like top quality junk. This looks like a good deck. So it's like yeah, cold efficient deck. <laughs> cold efficient. Uh, so he's going to run HQ, letting an architect fire. Um, uh, he's just taking his lumps now. Yeah, but, right. So here's the thing. He's seen four cards off the top of the deck. He's already installed one. He's already chosen the best one to install the five. Yeah. Like, it's still a free click, right? It's, it's a free a click to install. He gets another campaign out of the bin. But yeah, I board. mean, there's a point at which if they, if you're going to let him install, then just maybe just take your lumps. He's but not, he it's not winning this, in the game. Getting, oh, so now he's protecting you. It's like he, yeah. The thing is, ice. The best thing about architect and like team launch. But that does that. The ice is free to install, so you can install yeah, it and okay. like make the servers ridiculously deep. And Does that suggest there's nothing, there's nothing good to install though in top R and D, and that that wasn't that bad in architect fire? Like maybe it's events. Could be an agenda that he still can't got two free get out. Don't know. He got yeah, two free clicks he did, he did, he did. Yeah, he did. Um, and improved his board state for on access. Or no, he wants to trash the crystal. That's what he's going. For. Or he wants to shut down the itch. So I mean, he declined the second sub as well of the architect. Like he couldn't sort of. Like just Neve out, but maybe and he's not going to raise it. Yeah, uh, well, why not do it? I suppose it's like, still existing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe, and maybe that's it. So he actually, so it wasn't that bad. So you get Christian Grid, uh, which trashes is going to steal an XRIB test. Shut down the itchy. Right, stuff's happening. Okay, and he's going to inside the job again. He's going to de-res that for that. And he's going to inside the job again. So he can res it again. Can he res something else? This is his click four. This is his click four. So if he can res something and the itchy, he's got Jack out. So. That'll do. So he has to check out that, right? Because he's going to always going to walk straight into an enigma. <laughs> but he's usually the agenda if he does that. Um, no, it's a side game still. No, we have no. Ooh, do you give up two programs to still what is presumably a GFI? Four points. Do you know what? That's not bad. No, Maybe no, because he, he, well, he also raises the ash. But he can, but he can beat an ash trace with zero credits. He can pay four. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, so he does jack so it out. Cost him, it cost him a lot of money. And he did jack out, but that is a very interesting question. Because you're right, he did have exactly enough for an itchy. Maybe you just take it to the face, you walk through it. He also doesn't score. Like, you know, and it would be 6 to 2 instead of 4 to 5. I mean, you're going to lose the Yog and the Corroda. You're going to have genuine issues down the road. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, for all, have no I'm going to assume he's got at least. I'm going to assume he's got two of each in his deck. Yeah. One of each oh no, but what will happen is, if he did with the itchy, ran through it, Architect would fire, he'd install over the GFI and trash it. Put it in a bin. <laughs> yeah, maybe Jackson or something. Yeah. Well, well it was click four, yeah. right? So you'd be like, ha, at least he has to go and get it, and to get yeah. it, he has to go through another Architect. But he installs it back in a remote. Yeah. No! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I would have been genius. Okay, you're right. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure Rob considered all these. You know, yeah, you know, um, he would have. He would have trashed the Caprice and the. Uh, yeah. yeah, but that would have been funny. Um, it's true. You got architects everywhere. They can just move the agenda away. <laughs> just keep so it back. So is this else. a campaign now? Because this could be the game. Because it's sort of the. Yeah, and you have to check right because he's on five points. Uh, HB has an abundance of three-two agendas, so of check course it could one be. Point architect. Uh, yeah. Again, brings Christian Grid back again. Did you draw for Mimic and Hope? No, She's going to run HQ. I, I've never seen anyone quite so run through quite so many architects in yeah. the game. For this yeah. is really interesting. Lots of things. Uh, yeah, it's tough. What click is this? Because this is almost the point where you start thinking about putting a three-two down. <laughs> Um, and protect it, right? Because if you've got two, if you've got two three twos down, and you, can, you can't steal both. Yeah. yeah. And you and you don't think you can steal both, then, but then you could also steal it. Yeah, tough one. You maybe do it if you've got one in hand because he's about to come into hand. I know he's Chris. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's a siphon, same old siphon. So he does raise Chris and Bruce. He's going to break the wrap yet. He does go with that. Um, so instead of the siphon firing, he's going to access. Sure, might be game. Or it won't be game. Oh, that's an interesting choice. It's interesting. I mean, what if you got Caprice from a remote? It actually, kind of makes sense because it just gives they can't keep running. Yeah. You know. Uh, okay. All right. So um, is Matt going to win in this turn? Did he? It was one of those things that just happened in the agenda. Oh, well, sorry. It was one no, I think it was campaign. Okay. 
Uh, there's what? How many points? So that's the architect fire. Of course. No, there's got to be an agenda down there somewhere. Because he also installed another thing. He does only have three credits as well, so he can't uh, res anything if he wants to score next turn. But he didn't res anything. Christian back in HQ, because why not? Did he just trash? So we get my uh, side games, so let's see what happens. Ooh. He did it! He did yeah, it. Yeah. She's going to blow up everything. Oh, yeah, there might be an action. Is that everything? Is that everything? Is that everything? I think you leave it there, you wait till you trash it. Because then you know. Yeah, no, I'm going to. I'll leave leave that one uh, access why didn't he res, res the yeah uh, bit of a backup here <laughs> he decides to res the ash uh, so yeah, yeah agrees and if the it's an ash because yeah, yeah, yeah. if he trashes the break of bay only then you have to pick five to res the oh yeah that's a good point yeah yeah he res both so he's still going to get the ash trace he can, he can beat the trace uh, he didn't boost so he only needs three because Andy has a link so he plays three and then you res Eve as well and then we're back in the same position uh, so he trashes Caprice um, he trashes the ash. Leaves the on the You're right, you're with the Eve. We're going to see a Jackson. Yes, he, can't, he can't try, so you might as well leave it. Well, unless you don't want to get a death brother credit. He's on one credit. Sure, yeah, okay. Uh, definitely ready. And now, but, and now we're obviously rough, just got no money and no way of. It's just. Yep. Still. But if there's an agenda. Oh, and also, it's not an agenda. And that's what happens when you keep. Running architect, he just set up another breaker base server, which he did last turn. Um, okay. Still. So that's that. Okay, that's not ice. That is a remote. <laughs> he just put down sideways because he's going to blast it for the win. Uh, in that little like Arsenal Jackson, uh, because he had six credits. He had three. The breaker baited on has gone up six, and that's all you need because he's broken. So that's all you need to break. Well, well, interesting. I mean. Um, it's a very interesting deck that Rob's running here with no Sentry Breaker. That's a bold choice. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm going to assume that does have Mimics, and it wasn't just... Or, well, like it, he, also had, he also had a Fem, right? And he had a lot of money at one point, so he could have been paying for Fem. Uh, fem strength, strength are you two? sure? Of course, four credits strength to get two, two to boost. Uh, Bob one strength. Bit not, not great. Yeah, which is, yeah, yeah. we have to bond one to get to Architect, so, and then yeah, one to break. Two subs, yeah. yeah. yeah so it's four, four credits to get to Architect. You could, buy, you could uh, so choose something to bypass... Something, like whatever. Text. Maybe an uh, architect. Maybe a. I don't know, whatever. Your uh, hide and strength three code gate, I guess, would be the obvious choice, but we didn't see any of those. Architect's not bad because it's, it's instead of four, it's two credits. And yeah. Or itchy, maybe. That's annoying to break. Yeah, that is with annoying them, to break. So. It's also three to bypass. But yeah, it's annoying to break. It's, it's yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven to yeah, break. So three is much better than that. Um, yeah, so uh, I think it's fair to say that Rob struggled because he didn't draw a mimic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to assume there's mimic in that deck. Um, but when I thought you... that game would have gone very differently yeah. if he had a Mimic. He had a lot of early pressure, he had a lot of money. If he'd had the Mimic, he could break everything. He had Suckers and Yogg, so he could break Kogates. He had, would have had Suckers and Mimic, so he could break yep, yep. Assassins or whatever. Uh, Caprice, obviously, you know, posed a threat, but it always does. That's what Caprice does. So, um, yeah, interesting game. But uh, Matt kind of played his side, you know, he just did the thing. He had Alex. Yeah, Give a shout out to Alex, Alex Towers, a good card. Um, yeah, no, I think he thinks about it well. He break away economy and stuff. It's all yeah. pretty standard money, and he's got and he's got enough three twos. You just keep installing stuff. Eventually, yeah, it'll yeah, be an agenda. Sure. Like he threw some things up. You don't and, have to advance and, it. And like having the even, having to have the even the remote that last turn was was perfect. Um, he's obviously having to make a lot of really weird decisions with all these architects firing, like what they're still where and so on. Yeah, so he was making decisions about that. Um, so yeah, it was it was. Interesting, but yeah, I think you played it well. I mean, Rob must have taken seven or eight architects to the face in that game, and that's. I guess sometimes you just got to do it. It doesn't end the run, so I guess just power through. He did get uh, four points. He did get points, um, so he was getting the accesses, but it it's free clicks and it's ETF as well, so it gives you give him a credit on the runner's turn because yeah. it's, if it's firing every turn, so yeah, yeah it's all bad. Um, yeah. Yeah, very tough. Very tough. I think that I think it was uh, made a lot tougher by Rob Straw. That's my opinion. But. Sure. Uh, great. Okay. So um, let's very quickly mention what's in the next video. In the next video, we can jump ahead around to round four, and we're going to see another um, Edinburgh player. Not that he's just filmed Edinburgh. No, it's not Edinburgh. Eh? No, it's not. I'm sorry. No, he was from Aberdeen. I apologise. Um, right. Another playing another Sunny. Northerner. Another Northerner playing playing Sunny against another Northerner um, playing NEH from Newcastle. Sunny so, NEH. Um, that famous matchup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So I'm going to put money on NEH now. <laughs> well, so Sunny typically has a very strong late game, uh, and NEH's late game doesn't exist because it's already won. won. So yeah. <laughs> so what you've got is a very fast corp against a very slow runner, which normally means the corp wins very fast. Um, it's very interesting, Sunny Dick. I'll say that. And okay. It's quite interesting to watch. Yeah. I, I hope we at least see enough of the cards. To see what <laughs> it yeah. was planning on doing. So yeah. Uh, okay, so um, uh, viewer, I'd like to remind you that if you want to see any more of our videos, you can find them all at neorenegrid.co.uk. And you can find us on uh, Twitter and on Facebook as well. And on Patreon if you want to support us. Uh, it helps make the channel better. Thank you, Joey, for having me contact this video. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.